gentlemen. Golden Sands. <laughs> this place is one of the most popular summer vacation destinations at the Black Sea in Bulgaria. I just checked in last night and well, that's why I have this wonderful plastic bracelet. And now I'm heading to the beach like everybody else. That was 39 leva. That's about 20 euros. I don't think that's that cheap, but anyway. The weather is perfect. 27 degrees Celsius, a typical high season summer day. And that's my spot on the beach. At first sight, the beaches are packed, but not as much as in previous years. The war in Ukraine has also impacted tourism here. Fewer tourists have been traveling to the Black Sea overall, especially Russian tourists. It feels kind of strange enjoying a summer holiday with the war in Ukraine just about 250 kilometers from here at the very same Black Sea. Well, I'll try to find out what's going on here at Golden Sands and what other tourists think about this particular situation. Where are you from? Denmark. Come on, Stuttgart. I'm from here, from Bulgaria. What do you think of Golden Sands so far? It's definitely a party area. There is a party all the time, a lot of young people. It's really nice, really nice. And there's a lot of life. Also, preislich sehr konkurrenzfähig. Also, man kann ja schon Bier trinken für einen, für einen ordentlichen Preis. Also, arm muss man nicht nach Hause gehen. And a serious question, uh, the war in Ukraine is not that far away at the very same Black Sea. So is that something that's on your mind? Did you think about it before coming here on vacation? We think about it, but we don't worry about it. Yeah. No, we're not uh, afraid of it. But, yeah. Yeah, we have our son and his girlfriend with us and his girlfriend is from Ukraine. Um, and, and she's not worried about it either. I don't think anyone is worried about the war. Ja, yeah, I know it's not far, but we don't feel threatened. Also interessanterweise sind hier sehr viele Ukrainer auch im Urlaub. Also ich habe auch Leute aus der Ukraine kennengelernt, die waren eigentlich relativ entspannt. Ich meine, Odessa ist nicht so weit weg, das ist ja fast schon Kriegsgeschehen, aber ich fühle mich also sehr sicher hier. Also gefühlt, also überhaupt kein Problem hier, was was den Ukraine Krieg angeht. In our hotel there is a, a lot of people from the Ukraine, also some refugees, a lot of children who are coming to play with us because they stay here in Golden Sands since a few months, so we see it yeah, all the time. If I'm afraid, I'll be not here, you know. I will, I will sleep on my home. Time for my first swim in the Black Sea. It's not cold at all. The water is 25 degrees Celsius. I love it. An endless promenade runs parallel to the beach where you can buy all kinds of things. <laughs> Everywhere you go, there's music. So if, you, if you're looking for silence and peace, Golden Sands is not the place. Tourists like me, who are a bit more adventurous, can enjoy different challenges. For example, scoring goals against a spinning goalkeeper. It costs 10 leva, that's about 5 euros. Four out of five. Four out of five. Well, thank you very much. That looks good. They even have a beer König, a beer king at Golden Sands. They really know their German guests here. What's so cool on the Goldstrand? What makes the Goldstrand so special? Well, 
Und die sind so getackert. Die Stimmung und halt die Location ist halt einfach geil. Dass du 100 Meter vom Strand entfernt bist, ist einfach geil hier. Und Aber die könnt, Leute. Du könntest ja auch woanders hinfahren, nach Spanien oder Italien. Warum nach Bulgarien? Weil hier noch alles erlaubt ist. Was heißt das? Ja. So eine Sache, wie einmal kaufen oder so. Wir haben jetzt so keine Bremsen. Genau. Wir haben jetzt so keine Bremsen, genau. Und I actually like this music, but I think my colleagues don't. <laughs> At Bulgaria's Black Sea coast, there is way more to discover than just golden sands. I'm in Varna right now. That's the third biggest city in the country. And I think it's well worth a visit. So let's check it out. The cathedral with the golden domes is the symbol of Varna. About 330,000 people live here. The city center has many pedestrian zones and charming fountains. This looks really good. And that's the theater. Can you hear that? <laughs> it sounds like a guy from the opera. Let's get closer. It's like a concert for free <laughs> in the middle of Varna. Now it's Shopska time. Shopska time. Okay. Thank you. This is a typical Bulgarian salad. Shopska. So it's um, cheese, cucumber, and tomato. I think the onion is missing. Well, sometimes Shopska comes without the onions. Really good. It's fresh. Varna is full of cats. <laughs> and I love cats. Take a look at this. Obviously, I'm not just here for the cats. I'm here to visit Varna's most famous gold treasure. In the archaeological museum, Christian Oblakov tells me about the ancient societies that lived here thousands of years ago. In the 1970s, archaeologists unearthed artifacts from ancient civilizations. In 1972, the famous Varna gold treasure was found in a burial ground. So, Christian, this is the most famous part of the exhibition? Well, maybe this is the most iconic image of the exposition, yes, grave number 43. Well, what is so special about it? Well, actually, these are the oldest gold objects crafted by the hand of man discovered in the world. So how old is the gold? It's from the 5th millennium BC, that is approximately 7,000 years ago. Christian is a lawyer by profession, but he prefers to do city tours. So what do you think? Uh, what's so, so special about Varna? It's my native town, so I love it very much. It's a place with uh, rich history, nice people living here, a lot of events taking place during the years, so I like this place. This looks great. Varna is the largest port city in Bulgaria. As in other European cities, parts of the industrial facilities are now used for leisure and culture. How important is Varna for tourism in Bulgaria? 
Well, we have a tradition in uh, tourism already here in Varna because um, 100 years ago, uh, after the end of the First World War, uh, it was difficult from economical uh, point of view for this uh, city and the country which lost the war, in this case Bulgaria. So the um, mayors of Varna decided to develop this city instead of an industrial port as a tourist destination. And we use the German word, Kurort, back then. So Varna very rapidly developed as a resort city who invited and greeted people from different countries, from all over Europe and for a lot of Bulgarians as well. And this was in 1921, um, slightly over 100 years ago. The inhabitants of Varna are also feeling the effects of the war in Ukraine. Last year, 22 cruise ships docked in its port. This year, cruise ships are avoiding the Black Sea because of the possible danger of sea mines. I want to find out how the war has affected tourism here. I have an appointment with the head of the Bulgarian Hotel Association. Sunny Beach and Golden Sands is very, very popular among Russian tourists. Um, well, then there was COVID, now there's the war. I guess there are no more Russian tourists. In what way is that a problem? Well, Bulgaria, uh, prime interview with uh, Nemska television, but the Germans are a tourist number one. The other is така uh, от сегмента с дълги почивки, които правят дълъг престой, са руските туристи. И руските, украинските, т.е. от войната, хората от войната, близо до войната, Беларус, Прибалтика, това, които правят средна заетост 10-11 дни, подобно на немските туристи. Така че за нас е жалко, че тази година ги загубихме. Но се надяваме след войната това да окаже така бързо да се възстанови този поток. So there were refugees accommodated in resorts here at Golden Sands and on the Black Sea coast. Um, they had to leave. What happened? Държавата им даде възможност 3 месеца да се ориентират дали искат да продължат пребиването си в България или да се върнат в Украина. Така че някои от тях избраха да останат, другите се върнаха. Тези, които са останали тук, дадаха им са м- възможност да пребивават в България и по този начин и си да почнат да работят. Някои от тях още са настанени в хотели. It's, it's better for a hotel to, um, to have a tourist than a refugee because it pays off. Разбира се. Разбира се, че е така, но нека да не забравяме, че украинския пазар е много сериозен. Български пазар правят половин милион туристи. Част от тези хора, които дойдоха като беженци, бяха наши бивши гости. И такива даже, които са работили при нас. Но преди всичко е необходимо да има туристи, а не беженци. Това си пожелаваме всички, защото що има беженци, значи има проблем. Thank you very much, Mr. Штерев. Thank you. Bye. It's already late in the afternoon. Fewer people are on the beach and in the water. It's time for an adventure. Jet ski at the Black Sea. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Golden Sands in Bulgaria offers a varied nightlife. In Germany, Golden Sands is considered a cheap alternative to the Spanish island of Mallorca, which is very, very popular among German tourists. Well, apparently, you can let yourself go here at Golden Sands. Like tourist hotspots on Mallorca, also here you can find many bars and clubs where the beer flows and well-known entertainers find an enthusiastic audience. Ladies! 
This evening, I'm in luck. Austrian entertainer Lorenz Büffel is performing. That was my trip to Bulgaria's Golden Sands. I hope you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment and please subscribe to our channel, DW Travel. Bye bye, see you next time.